even chickens are smart enough not to eat Fruit Loops. Good afternoon, folks. I am currently leaving Lowe's. Uh, I bought dirt. Uh, I think I said I was going to buy dirt yesterday, but that didn't happen. But I bought dirt today. I got some topsoil and I got some peat moss. Peat moss does a lot of bulk. Because uh, that topsoil, man, that stuff goes away quick. But I want to uh, say thank you uh, to uh, Lowe's for the humor. <laughs> I should say the young boy uh, at Lowe's who provided the hort humor. I was, uh, I loaded all this dirt on the carts, the only carts they had back there in, uh, in the uh, home and garden section. And their carts, they got these little, like, four inch wheels on them. And that's all they are, they're just little carts. And I loaded that sucker up. I got six cubic uh, feet of uh, peat moss and 10 40 pound bags of topsoil. So it's 400 pounds of topsoil and at least another 100 pounds of peat moss. I'm pretty sure it's more than that because that stuff's a little bit wet. So you're talking 500, 550 pounds on this little bitty cart. And uh, I was pushing the thing because it was uh, way too hard to pull. So I was pushing it. And this young boy at Lowe's comes running up. Can I help you, sir? And I stopped. I said, sure. This boy might have weighed 120, 130 pounds. And uh, it was great fun watching that boy grab hold of that cart and go, <laughs> So, thank you, Lowe's, for the humor. Uh, in the meantime today, uh, you saw, if you was watching where I fed the chickens, you noticed there was uh, straw inside the chicken coop. I tell you, yesterday I threw a whole bale of straw in there. I thought that's way too much straw. Because uh, it fluffed up, it filled half that coop. I was like, man, that's just way too much. But I left it in there. Man, them chickens flattened that out. They had it flattened out before they went to bed last night. I was pretty impressed by that. But uh today i'm actually hot in this jacket yeah it's probably i don't know 42 43 degrees um it's 39 last time i looked at the thermometer but i think it's warmed up a little bit since then and tomorrow uh if you're living in the united states just about anywhere uh in the northern half you're going to get snow it's going to be nasty Tomorrow at noon, it's supposed to be 50 degrees. Uh, Sunday morning, it's supposed to be 20 degrees. The high Sunday is supposed to be 20 degrees. And Monday morning is supposed to be uh, 6. I got that pile of rock. I got that pile of rock. I got that pile of rock and that pile of rocks. I know, them are concrete rocks. Still, they lift just like rocks. I got four buckets of sand, that little bit of rock, and that mess. That's a couple of tarps and a hose. Other than those piles of rocks, as far as I'm concerned, that's done. Uh, Missy said she's going to plant, plant grass seed out there. 
Uh, I bought hay so we can spread that over the grass seed when we put it out there. And all in all, I don't think that looks too bad at all. There's an awful lot of sand over there, but Missy say that uh, grass seed will grow just fine in that sand and I don't have to worry about it. That makes me happy. Let's work. So, that job is mostly done. <sighs> Thank God. Um, we'll find out how good it is tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to get between two and three inches of rain. And that's before uh, the temperature drops out and it snows and turns to ice and quick freezes and uh, all that kind of fun stuff. <clears throat> In all honesty, this video will probably get up tomorrow. Uh, because... Missy's brother and his wife are coming over for dinner, and uh, that's nice. Um, and I'm going to help her out, his wife out, with uh, some stuff on the computer that she wants to get done. Uh, mostly just copying some pictures onto a DVD. But, hey, you know, uh, be nice to have a visit. We don't have enough people come by and visit anymore. It's because we're moving, and we're not, and we're stuck, and, uh, you know. <sighs> but that's today's video um, on Tuesday <laughs> we'll see how the theory goes temperature's supposed to warm up some uh, it's supposed to be a fairly nice day and we're going to see how this works out uh, my daughter and her fiance are supposed to come uh, help me uh, harvest some chickens uh, but anyway we are going to process chickens uh, and if they don't show up, I'm going to process chickens on Tuesday. Uh, I've only got about five to do. Um, I've counted my roosters. I think I have eight. Think. Uh, it's hard to get an accurate count when they're all running around everywhere in a big pile. Um, but I think I have eight. I want to keep three. Uh, and that means five of them get to go in the pot. They are four months old uh, as of yesterday. Happy birthday to the chickens. <laughs> bad news for some of the roosters um they're big enough to process and they should be uh, absolutely delicious so that's what's going on uh in the meantime my name is mark i'm just some old kentucky homesteader uh if you like this kind of thing if you think yesterday was interesting i a lot of work today um you know hit the like bell hit the like bell hit the like button uh hit the subscribe button ding the bell you know the whole routine i get tired of saying that I'm sure you get tired of hearing that and in the meantime, you have a very blessed day. Y'all are foggy. Uh, I just thought we were done for the day. Okay, well, this time I really am calling it a day. Uh, but Missy said, let's go ahead and get the seed out. Who am I to argue? That's another job done. Cool.